Hi guys, so I just wanted to show you what the uh, Yonsei course registration process looks like. So this is the website that you use to register your courses. If we, this is how we search for courses. So undergraduate, um, a lot of the courses I want to take are um, understudy abroad courses and then undergraduate and all. So here are some of the options you have to take. Um, there's lots of interesting stuff. Um, and so if we look at it, this is the, uh, the syllabus, which is nice that they posted before. You can see uh, what things are graded off of. And then what all of we study in all the weeks. And then right here, this is really important. So this is the mileage resor result for previous semesters. So if you look at this, oh, actually this one doesn't have one. Let's look at a different one. So if we look at this, we can see uh, the previous semester, how, um, how people registered. So for Yonsei, you need to bid a certain amount of points for each course. Uh, depending how popular the course is and how much you want to take the course. So up here, um, you see the average um, of what people bidded, and then all of these are people who bidded. So you can see the X's are people who didn't get in, and the O's are people who got in. So if we look at this, like the lowest person that got in was a 23. So if you want to get into this course, you should probably bid a 24 or above. Um, and everybody has, I think, 72 points that you can bid with, so um, you have to do a little bit of math, but luckily the course registration is open for like a week or so, so you have time to play with it a little bit and finally decide um, what you're going for. Here is the courses I'm taking, so um, if you guys want to see how the process looks, let's... Um, register for this one. So I'm going to look it up by course code. The IEE course codes are um, the study abroad courses. So as you can see, I'm like only taking study abroad courses. I wanted to take some poli sci courses, but they were restricted um, to major. And I'm not a poli sci major. Actually, my major at Yonsei is um, Underwood International College. Um, it's kind of confusing, but anyways. So if I wanted to apply for this course, you can see the time. And these are the time like blocks. It, it's not at one o'clock, it's at, in the first period. Um, and then over here, I think the little two means that it's in English. You can see, yeah, little two means that it's in English. The K means that it's offline. And the B means it's on an absolute scale. So if we wanted to uh, register for this, we check the, you know, past averages. Um, and people above 22 got in, so the average was 23. Um, so if I want to bid for it, I put in a 26, and then you just push submit, and then it goes down here. And yeah, that is pretty much the process. Um, and you can change your mileages after you bid on things. So also I should mention that if you're taking the intensive Korean with uh, KLI, Korean Language Institute, um, you do not have to bid on it. Like it's like you always get into it. They, they, they don't reject anyone from that course. So a lot of people don't bid for it in the first round because you can just bid for it in the second round. It doesn't matter. Actually, I think the second round might only be waiting lists, but anyways. But that's why there's only one point allotted towards KLI, just because I had an extra point. So um, I allotted it so I could just be finished with my schedule and not have to worry about it later. But yeah, um, hopefully I get into all of my courses. Otherwise, I'm going to be stressed out during the waiting list round two of course registration.